Ah, já ia esperar. Both teams lined up in the middle. We are ready to get things underway. Oh, I've been waiting for this all day, and we are now officially underway. Shuts him down. So good at getting that long-range shot on the net. The save's made, though, but you're trying to create a little chaos in the whole deal. The Ducks have it now. Streaking into the attacking zone from the right. Routine save made by Kidd. And now he tries to get it across to Cote. Booming shot! What a good okay. save by Kidd! Lots of hockey left Good to be much. played in this period. The game is still scoreless. Wolf won the faceoff. And it's a quick pass to JD. Steps inside. And that's broken up. The Ducks gain control of the puck. McAvoy got it in the defensive end. Gains control of the puck here at the line. Gets down low and blocks the shot. There's a hit on the play. Icing is the call. We'll get a reset. Wolves won the draw here in the offensive zone. That was an important faceoff, James. Now they got an offensive zone possession. Moves it to Wolf. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. And that play's broken up. We got a penalty coming yes, up sir. here on the field. Off the bar, I think Sorry, that's the inside of the post. Man advantage takes to the ice. It's our first opportunity to get a glance at the special teams unit. Well, they certainly hope this game won't be scoreless much longer. Their first chance on the power play. They got their big boys out trying to crack the egg. Anaheim's got a hold of it along the wall. It on net. Can't get it to go. We got a whistle as the puck sails into the bench. Yager's side still short-handed here as they slide in for the face-off. Off the draw and a nice job locking up his opponent. Slides it diagonally to Abdullah. The Oilers will play the puck from the back of the net. Passes over to Kane. Tries to the paint! And he's peeling off to regroup. And they get the puck out. Uh, from the neutral zone now. An easy uh, save by Kidd. Oh, he ripped that right after the whistle. What's he thinking? Uh, uh, Abdullah's ready to go. Apparently the other guy doesn't want anything to do with him. Kote is able to make clean passes that are easy for his teammates to receive, guys. Yeah. His tape-to-tape -tape zone ability means the puck doesn't bobble or bounce over his teammates' sticks, so they can keep the play going. I can, I can. And that's off a stick. No. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. The Oilers squander a golden opportunity to take the lead here. Sometimes you go on the ice with the best of intentions, and it goes all wrong right away. That's how I characterize that power play. Back to the face-off circle. They'll send the man advantage unit out again. They've tried to jam things around the front of the net, James. I think they've got to go back to the point, open up some space, and shoot the puck from there. And they clear that puck. Dished on over to Ward. Edmonton's on the attack. Oh. And not much on that one. Mm -hmm. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Wolf set the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. Edmonton's won the draw. Takes the shot. Big save. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. Feeling the pressure, trying to clear. Slides it over with pace to Ward. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Hammer 
first one at the net. Gives up the body in order to block the shot. That's a big yeah. time hit along the wall. It is, James. I love the way he used the angle. He took away all the ice. Hammers oh, move it. Mais oui. Ah, 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 Picked up along the wall by McAvoy. Cote's walking the line. Great read with the stick. Trying to clear. And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change, get some fresh players on the ice. Works it across to Abdullah. Well, he's calling him out now. Oh, fuck, oh, dang. Yager's not interested in <laughs> dropping the mitts and going at it. He's almost his goal. They'll get set to go to work with a five on three. What a great opportunity with a two man advantage here. Move the puck quickly, shoot it, make those defenders have to scramble. Edmonton's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Trying to clear the zone. And still no luck at that one. You can even see their body language, James, there. Shoulders kind of shrug. They think it's going out, they'd get a chance to change. Penalty killers still on their heels. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. Slides the puck down low. Yager's got it against the boards. Manages to hang on. There's another for the hit parade. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Man advantages up, both teams back to even strength. Too passive, not aggressive enough. The puck gets moved around the outside of the penalty killers really doesn't become a dangerous power play. Here in the back half of this period, still scoreless in this one. Face off here in the neutral zone and we are back underway. Puck picked up in the open ice. Anaheim's got possession of the puck. Great reach with the poke check. That's the five. And that one's blocked. And there's a great save by Kidd. And they keep the pressure on. Anaheim staying possession along the boards. Taken along the wall by Abdullah. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Quick pass to Wolf. Oh, and that stays out with the toe save. Quick feed to Abdullah. That's the time. What a hit. Man, James, we're feeling that up here. What a solid body check delivered there. He's known for this, and he doesn't miss this opportunity. And there in the oh, final 60 oh, seconds yeah. of this opening stanza. Mm -hmm. Taken by Wolf. Nice pass. Anaheim's got control of it now from their own end. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Looks to make a play over to Ward. Yeah, but there's a bus. And with that, the first period is in the books. Both teams with a chance at a refresh will get a clean sheet of ice and come back for period number two.
Both teams back on the ice after the first intermission. Ray Ferraro, James Sabalski ready to bring in the call for period number two. Both teams still feeling each other out after a second. Well, let's see if that changes here in period number two. The Ducks move it in. Just the Trying to get 2Q with it and loses possession. Abdul is such a creative player. He's always looking at... Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Good old Lou Falcon. <laughs> the Ducks are off to the box. Interference the call. And they'll roll the power play yeah. unit right back out. It doesn't really matter what the power play's done before. You, you got to have a short memory. What you have now is a power play right in front of you. Make sure you're focused in on what you're trying to accomplish. And he makes the easy save. Okay, okay. It's almost like he's slaloming through the defenders. He can make a move. He's known to create his own room and get to the front of the net. Good save by the goaltender here, though. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck now. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Moves the puck across to Tube. Moves it quickly over to JD. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Time's up for the power play. Both teams back to equal strength. Always frustrating for the power play when they go back to the bench and don't have anything to show for it. Lots of time left in this period. Still no score in this one. Edmonton's got it and they're on the attack. Tremendous no. sacrifice of the body there. I don't want to know what that's that. Good my own. Moves it to Wolf. And he sacrifices that's his body really to block the shot. Really and things starting to ramp up a little bit now on the ice with that play. Picks up the pass. Anaheim's got control of the puck. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Quick pass to McAvoy. From point play. Scores! And look who it is! His first goal with his new EASHL team. The excitement that he displays when that puck goes into the net. You know how much this means. You will never forget your first goal. Quick hands are the money makers right tight to the net. He doesn't miss once he gets in there. Guys, this is his first goal with this club here. Much. And you know you never forget your first goal. I'm sure his teammates aren't going to forget it either. Gains the zone through the middle. Dumps it into the other end. Anaheim's got the puck. Sends it quickly to Abdullah. Here he is. Takes the shot. Misses on the play. Oh, so close. And he's got that heat seeker from distance, James. And usually he gets it on the net. It's a problem. This one, he just shoots and it goes wide. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Anaheim's up one zip. Yager's won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Oh. Puck is frozen Man. and we'll get a face off. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. Well, that's one way to win the draw oh. as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up.
Oh, this shot beats him clean here, but he doesn't see it. I think he's got to work a little harder. There's only one person in front of the net. He shouldn't be screened so completely. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Anaheim's looking to break out. Slides it across to Abdullah. Feeds the puck across to Wolf. Oh, what a smart heads up play. The Ducks gain possession. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. The Oilers have it from their own end. Slides it across to Cote. Anaheim's got it in their own zone. There's the whistle icing the call. Here in the later stages of this period, Anaheim's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. The Oilers win the draw. Look out. Jagger's looking around for somebody to fight. He's going to have to go and fill the dance card somewhere else. He scores! Deuce is wild for him now. Well, that makes your night. I'll tell you, it's great to score one. You get a second one. It's such a rush. Thinking had he yet? Oh, he should be. I mean, he's got two in the bag already. I'll tell you one guy that would be thinking Hattie, me. He doesn't miss very often from in here. You get tight to the net, one of the most accurate shooters in the game. When he's able to get near the front of the net like that, don't be surprised if he skates away with the goal like we just saw there, guys. His close quarter superstar ability makes him so good at point blank range. Pass across to McAvoy. What a great read, oh, breaking man. up the pass. Yeah. Moves it quickly over to Abdullah. Goes full circle with the puck. Oh, and he misfires on that. Denied by the goaltender. Mm -hmm. Kids fought that puck all night long. He makes a good save there, James, but it's been a long night for him, and the guys in front of him haven't been much better. Setters are set, face off, ready to resume play. Nearing the 40-minute mark of the game. Here's a short pass to Kane. That's not going to fool him. Puts it on net. And he totally whiffs on that one. Going to turtle now, kid? Puts the puck on net. What a save for kid. And there's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. You don't want to go home yet, do you? Third period action still to come. The moment of truth has arrived for both these teams. Third period action set to go. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Well, we've got two periods under our belts to this point so far. Okay. Ray, how do you see things? Anaheim's focus now is just locked down. They win. Uh, all right, good. My dirt, dirt. Okay, I'm going to the Get them up. Get to the net. That's where the goals are. The rebound sits there, and he okay. puts it away. Edmonton's narrowed the gap here in the third, but still a long way to go, Red. Yeah, James, this yeah. is still way down the road to even this game up. But if you get one, maybe you get another. Maybe they get nervous. The Oilers take possession in the defensive end. Grabbed along the board by Dubé. 
sends it to the cross side. Directed over to Abdullah. Moves it to JD. And now it's over to Wolf. Poked away in the neutral zone. Fires it into the offensive zone. And, and the intensity starts to ramp up here after that hit. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck. Handles the pass up to the middle of the ice. Quick feed down low. That's, the That's a solid hit. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Quick pass to Wolf. Picked up along the boards by Kane. That's the time. Another big hit. Man, this guy has one color on his mind, and it's the other team's jersey. Skate, hit, skate, hit. It's been that all night. Edmonton's got the puck against the boards. Oh, and down he goes on the ice. Oh, he thought there was room. Obviously, there was none. And he's going after him here. Mm. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. Wolf's done everything here except pull the other guy's gloves off. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Abdullah. Like Anaheim's such a dominant team when their top line plays like this. I mean, how are you going to slow them down? What a great blend of size, speed, and skill they have. Another chance here on the man advantage. Power plays go up and down. That's just the way they are. But when you haven't been successful, you've got to reload, refocus, and get to work on that next one. And the puck clears the zone. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. Yager's got it in the offensive zone. Moves the puck forward in the middle. Oh, what a great save by Kidd! Well positioned save, and he has the rebound over oh. in the corner. Edmonton's got possession while well undermanned. Nice job to escape the zone. Takes a shot. He scores! That's the hat trick! A little tweak to the crowd here on the road as he gets it third. An outstanding game so far. The goalie doesn't get a clean look at this with the traffic in front of the net. He's trying to find the puck, and by the time he does, it's behind him. More than half the frame has been played here. The Ducks now lead by three. Handles the puck. Jagger's having fun tonight. He's padding the assist column, it seems, on a regular basis. Moving the puck, finding the open guy, and going to celebrate as the thing ends up in the net again. Quick feed to Wolf. Puck scooped up by Kane. Edmonton's got it in the neutral zone. Cross corner dump in. Anaheim's got the puck along the boards. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Grabbed along the boards by McAvoy. Oh, great play to use the wall handling the pass. Anaheim's gonna play it from the corner. The Oilers take over on possession. Anaheim's got possession at center. Edmonton's bench is really quiet. Just to the side of me, I can't hear a peep from these guys. They want to go home. And the puck leaves the zone. Ward's got it along the wing. Just wide. The Oilers are a frustrated group. You can feel it on their bench as they miss another chance. Scooped up along the wall by McAvoy. Moves it up through the middle from the right. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. And there we go. Icing is the call. In the final moments of this period, Anaheim's been the better team, and the scoreboard shows it. 4-1 is where we sit. Yager's won the draw. And the puck clears the zone. They'll be forced to leave as well. Less than 60 seconds to play in this blowout. McAvoy's moving the puck through his own zone. Went for the dirty dangle, and it goes sideways. Abdullah's close to pulling off a great move there. Just denied in zone. And they Get a turtle now, kid. And here comes the pushback. 
Kane's ready. Gloves are off. We've got a challenge here. JD's, they're going to go here. This isn't about winning the game anymore. This is about settling a score. Things got pretty quiet here when the decision was pretty clearly to the road team. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, both teams back at the face-off circle after the dust finally settles on that Donnie Brook. Yagers won the draw. Cote's got it in the defensive zone. Edmonton's got possession of the puck. The Ducks look to start the transition game. Cote's got the puck in his own zone. Can't find his man. And the extended stick ends that one. Ford's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. Kind of felt like everybody's been on autopilot for the last couple of minutes, and that penalty is a result of it. off the face off trying to get out of the defensive end and they do just that oh, I thought they did a pretty good job there James that's a time it's in the back of the net but it's not gonna count as the whistle goes before the puck went in that's all she wrote from this one the Ducks get solid goaltending. They get lots of offense as well here tonight, Ray. These are the games you hope come together for you somewhere along the road. Not one area you were very weak in. That's a solid performance. Check the boxes in all areas tonight. 